Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker. Today I'm making another video for another order. This time this order is going to be a high ban exclusive wig. And when I say exclusive, I mean that the wig is going to be made in a way that it can only be worn in a high ban. I have already made a unit like that for a, a male person. And now I'm making it for a woman that requested that. Now this... Um, this order went through a lot of a lot of things we started speaking about this unit for like um almost like six to seven months ago she tried to do this she tried to do that the first time her the hair that she got it didn't like it uh anyway i had it in my hands right now and i'm a little late in making this because she wanted this before june 2016 and it's almost june 2016 but i have a couple of real life problems so i couldn't finish it on time but she said that she still wants the unit so i have a couple of things over here and yeah i have already removed her personal photo she has sent a lot of things over here and i gotta say that i don't really like i don't need all that i can make that it's good that she has a couple of things for me to take some reference but for example this unit and this unit are totally different they're not the same are they uh, another kim kardashian Another Kim Kardashian. Is that a wig? Yeah, I know. It doesn't look like a black man. It's a uh, hairline. Bakery. This is very dense. It looks like a wig. This is not a wig. This is not a wig. This is not a wig. So, all the things that she has over here. Too much explanation. Like... Is this an outdoor wig? I don't know. This could be, I don't know. Where she got all that. Okay, get upside down. This is a copy from Mark Stewart's book. Something just falls down. Okay, here is what I don't need all that. Okay, just sending me all this stuff. I I cannot really go through all that. I know what she wants, I know what she requested, and wigs are a little uh, limiting depending on what you want, who you are, what you want it for, and a lot of things. She also has her own photo in here, which I'm not gonna show you. And I did some pre-work. There is a, a head mold, which is very nicely constructed. Uh, she has marked a couple of things that don't go well with what we, what we discussed. This is very, far up like we said about an inch or so well, i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do with that this is a nicely constructed uh piece but i think that this is uh, a heat mold very good doesn't have any faults anywhere she just hit it and put it on her head and it worked she could have put a little bit more tape over here just to make it more reinforced but it's okay so i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna just put it and stretch it as much as it can and i'm gonna make the cap with this one and yeah, I have a couple of hair, make wefts only with this. I have already started making the wefts. I have taped it over here and I run a couple of stitches. I'm going to show you later the rest of the process. And I have a little bit more hair. I'm probably going to be making this later. Or maybe if I don't need to, I'm not going to make more wefts because it takes so much time. And then I have a couple of... What's that? Looks like a tape. Looks like a tape. Where's the elastic? I just lost the elastic. Oh, it has something written on that. Front to nail. Oh, she didn't have to. Oh, come on. You don't need to, to include all that. You can just write to me that front to nail is 13. What's that? But I don't need that. Nail, it's that amount. But don't I already have the head mold why do i need that yeah that seems pretty okay we can just use the other one the first one she didn't have to include that obviously what's the point she could she could just measure herself and just send me the measurements only oh um, this is the hairline she says front to nape hmm. she's a little wrong here I'm gonna go with uh, the head mold. Like, really, the, the head mold is made. 
She could be wrong with a measurement, but how can she go wrong with a head mold? Temple to sideburn. Temple to sideburn. Doesn't make much sense. Anyway, I don't really think that I need all that because I have the head mold, so not necessary. Just and it's not useful like that. She could just write a little paper with everything on top of that. Anyway, she just took a lot of time making those things a little unnecessary. And she has a wig cap over here, which... This is a wig cap of a wig that she already had, apparently. Why would she... Oh, she wants me to use the wig cap for her wig? What about the lace? Let me just try to wear this really fast over here. No, this is too big. Let's hope the lady is just better. Mm, she's a little bigger. See, she's a little smaller than that, but let me just wear this out. Okay, but I'm gonna have to remove everything. Why, why that? It doesn't make sense. I don't need that. Yeah, a little stretchy. I can make the, the cap a little stretchy if she wants to. I, I don't think I'm gonna use that. There's no point because I'm gonna have to cut it. And then when I cut it, uh, it's all gonna fall apart. The ear tabs are gonna fall apart. Everything will fall apart. And she already mentioned that she is going to... Oh, they have the stays. That's good. She already mentioned that... She's gonna glue the wig because it's it's a perimeter wig, so you can't really not glue that. Let me just try to wear this again over here because I think that the lady is too small for that. Come on, dude, you can do that. You have saved me so many times. I think the dude just fits. Oh my god, that fits almost perfectly. Here's a look. Yep, the dude is working once again. Everyone say thank you to the dude. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't want to throw him away. I have another dude up there, but he doesn't look as good. Let me just show you. I got a new dude, but... They look like twins, but he's a little deformed. And I don't like that. Let me just wear this on that dude. Maybe he's... I think he's a little smaller. Ah, oh, this dude's... It's better. So I'm gonna use this dude this time. So sorry, bait. You're good, but I need someone else now. Yeah, that fits perfect. Take a look. It's so nice when the mannequin head just fit perfectly on people's human heads. So I have it over here. And the first thing I'm gonna have to do is just keep stitching the, the hair, trying to make it into wefts. Like so. And I'm gonna come back to you with the wefts and see what the next step is. Oh, also this hair. She said that she got this hair from by, from people, uh, donors, you know, she cut it off. This hair definitely looks worn out. It doesn't look good. This looks so much better. But this looks very worn out. You know what? I have the feeling that this hair was part of a wig and she just cut off it, cut it off. And then just sent to me. I don't know. This hair doesn't look like it came from um, a person in America. Like, who cuts the hair to donate it like that? I think this is a Asian hair. And this looks like Asian hair as well. I just hope this is virgin hair. Because I'm going to ventilate this hair. I'm going to take some tests with bleaching later. Just to make sure that everything is fine. I have a little bit more hair here. For this purpose. You can see. Um, I can make a little bit more weft with that. So yeah, let me just proceed with the wefting, and the rest is gonna follow. So I took a test, <clears throat> I first of all, I just finished making the weft here, uh, it still is getting dry. I can't say that I'm very happy the way it turned, but that's all I can do. 
Um, yeah, and it's not gonna be visible, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna let it dry, obviously. And when it dries, I'm going to have, um, I'm gonna seal the, the weft, and then I'm just gonna use it. So I took a bleach test on these three. This is the red one. This is the pink one. And this is this weird one. Now I have to say that when I started bleaching these, this uh, turned into a yellow the first three minutes. And it was that yellow and I was like, this has to be the only virgin. But it turns out that this was not the only virgin. These two bleach just like Asian hair would bleach. Normally they're still a little damp, so they are darker. And this is also quite weird and coarse and it's not the same hair like that. So whatever the case is, these two hair are identical and this hair is different. So I'm gonna blend this two and I'm gonna separate it, you know, process it with a drawing mat. And this one, I'm gonna process it separately to see if I need to use that. I don't know, I'm gonna see what I do with that. So let me just take these two apart. This is a very weird color. It's like a ceramic red or something. So yeah, I'm gonna take them here. And the first one that I'm gonna do is this one. This is the root. So I'm gonna put it on the, my drawing mat. And I'm gonna speed this up, obviously. This hair is almost ready, but I need to just, uh, you know, I line it in the roots and make sure that it's all good and then blend it with the other one. So I'm gonna speed this up. So this is the hair that has bleached um, normally, like so, and this is the hair that bleached like that, so I gotta say that I have plenty of hair of both. I think I might uh, use some of this hair just on the inner part where I have the wefts and then I have like about an inch worth of lace. I'm gonna ventilate a little with that just to make the, oh my god, this come out. Yeah, this hair is just shedding color. I'm gonna have to wash my hair, my hands. Um, so I just want to show you something. Um, this is the hair that I had to make the wefts, and I didn't use it all because I didn't feel that I needed to. I'm gonna show you something. This is actually... Is this the short hair? I think it is. Let me just try this first. If I... Let me take a small portion out. I'm just gonna cut a little bit. After all, this is very short. I just separated it according to length and kept a little bit from the short hair. Let me just show you. If I wet the hair... I initially, I thought that this, the hair was good, but although the hair is bleaching nicely, as you can see. It seems to have a, a weird coating, which just starts wearing out. When I ventilate, let me just show you here. This is a clear white area. Look, <laughs> look at that. And I realized that when I was working with it, my hands were all black and I was like, what the hell? So let me just do it one more time. Look at that over here, it's clear enough. Take a look. What the hell is that? It is some sort of coating, but it's not something permanent because you can very easily bleach the hair, as you can see. And it makes the hair a little tangling, I can say, because I had some problem with it, but anyway. So for the wig cap, she said that she wants me to use that. It's a little 
weird that she wants me to use an, a used cap that she said that fits her head perfectly and the truth is that it does fit let me just show you i have already started putting lace over here but let me just show you something it does fit perfectly i can say that but if you want a high band wig then i will have to remove everything from the edges like all these need to be less and i'm going to show you in a moment what i did not too much so what what do you want me to do just cut it over here and then attach it to the lace probably this is what i'm going to do so i really don't know what else to do and this is why i left extra lace so as to be able to stitch it in numerous places so i think i'm going to have to wear this close to the marking that she has like so and then i'm going to start uh sewing in here and here and everywhere i see everything that is been uh, upper than the black mark that i have over here because this is one inch worth of lace that i'm going to ventilate obviously so i guess i'm going to have to do it like well first of all i just put some swiss lace in the front and some Korean lace in the back. I'm gonna have to trim a little bit here. Let's cut this off. I'm gonna cut off this piece. It's not necessary. I believe I have some over here as well. Yeah, but the only thing that they do now is probably let me just remove that. Okay, let's just leave this. Oh no, I can remove it from here. I don't need that. These are markings so as I lay the lace uh, correctly. Oh, I'm gonna have to make the darts here only I have like a couple of darts not very uh, important but I will do that because they're not visible they're not gonna be inside the ventilated area lace lays very flat and good so yeah let me just first stitch these two then I'm gonna show you how I will attach this one I wouldn't have to do that I would just make a whole um, a lace cap but she requested that and why not I mean I can do that it's not uh, problematic so it's all pinned, uh, sorry, stitched here and here, and also I have a double stitching over here and over here as well. I have trimmed the excess lace, and now I'm gonna take my pins. I'm gonna wear this. I will. I really don't think that using this is the best thing to do, but she insisted, and I had quite, oops, I had quite a few problems communicating with her. You don't want to know. It, it was a little difficult. I was questioning her a couple of things and, you know, she just didn't understand and she constantly thought that I was making something different of what we decided. So I just decided to do the way she said and ask no more questions. So I'm going to put this close to the place that it should stop and I'm going to put this close to the place that it should stop. Not, I'm not uh, stretching it too much, but I have to stretch it enough so it doesn't have a uh, sagginess over here. It does have a little bit, but what can you do? So I'm going to place it over here. I've never done that before. I don't know why people want me to use... Why would anyone want me to use a used cap and the markings as well, whatever. Because all this is going to be taken out. And she said that this is going to be a glued wig, obviously. Otherwise, you can have a high bound wig without it being glued around the perimeter. At least not without fearing that it's going to slip back. So yeah, this is it. And now I have to take my needle. Let's see if I have enough string. I don't. No, it's not enough. Oh, where's my... Okay, I think 
think this is going to be enough. I love working with nylon thread, it's so easy. Alright, and now I have to, the first thing I'm going to do actually is, I'm going to uh, stitch it in the this elastic that I have over here because it's convenient and then I'm also going to stitch it wherever I can like for example let me just start from here for example I'm going to make the first stitch find the end I grab the lace beneath, obviously. And I'm going to continue like this throughout the piece, obviously. And because this elastic is behind this black line, I'm going to have to stitch these straight things over here close to the to the lace as well otherwise I'm gonna have too much lace and this is not part of the of the order I'm gonna have to ventilate this if I have lace over here this is too fragile to put wefts I don't mind the back but I do mind the front because the front is Swiss lace and I cannot stitch wefts over there so I'm gonna have to ventilate that if I leave it like this so I'd rather uh, stitch a little more and make sure that I have plenty of strength so I'm going to continue sewing this all around, it's going to take me a good 10 minutes I think. And when I'm done, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, I skipped a little too much I have to say. I decided to cut a little extra so as to keep this uh, circular thing, except the back obviously. Um, these areas here that I wouldn't normally ventilate. I will ventilate them, but I'm going to make it a little bulkier, meaning that I don't have to make... Uh, I will have to have a little bit of transition from the high definition to the wefting. So, finally I'm finished. And I say finally because high band wigs, exclusive high band wigs are problematic because they need a lot of work. Um, the wefts are in here. I'm going to have... you can see them. But I have plenty of hair outside, so you can't really see anything. This is extremely front. Uh, the sides go into a specific pattern. Of course, now it's not brushed all the way in. The only problem that we might have is the back. This hair is ventilated downwards, but once you have the hinge effect, it's like this hair can very easily go frontwards, like that. So... There's not much I can do for this one. It is what it is. That's why I... I mean, it's not difficult to make a high band wig exclusively because you put the, the wefts in the perimeter, but you have a hairline throughout the edges. So, and this is difficult to make. It's not an easy task. So, I don't know, maybe I think I might stop making these. Uh, this is the front part. This is another one part in here, you can see I still have lace, I have plenty of lace. No, I can't take this back. Anyway, I'm gonna show you, I haven't blitzed the knots yet, and I'm gonna blitz it right now, and I'm gonna show you the finished result. I'm pretty satisfied on how it looks. But as I said, um, it was a little problematic to make this wig because I cannot communicate very easily with this lady. I have to say that the hair that I thought that was good for the wefts actually didn't turn to be the best. It does bleach, but it seems to have a coating and it acts like glue. I mean, um, 
I could show you a little bit, but anyway, the hair in the, uh, that I ventilated, it all acted very nicely. Once I clapped it, it didn't look that bad anyway. So it's just good. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> I did this in order for the hair to be going upwards and uh, 90 degrees from the lace. So this is very funny. So now I'm gonna uh, pin it out, uh, put the bleach, bleach the knots, and then I'm gonna just show you the outcome. You can see the wefts now exposed a little bit around in the perimeter, but they're dense enough and you can't see many things. And this is against the white background, so it should be a little bit more visible now than it will be on top of her head. Let me just take a photo. Okay, it's over. Um, the bleeding of the knots, I mean. And I'm gonna actually take it out of the mannequin head to show you exactly how that looks because it, this is a paper white contrast and for example, this is a skin tone color. Um, yeah, I think it's good. I have had a little bit of more hair in the neck area. I have to say that it does look good as um, baby hair but this tangles a lot so i kept it very short and only in the neck area a little bit because the other areas just have the normal hair feathered out and you can see how much i have over here you can't really have it um, downwards like that because this area is going to have problem i don't know how it would be downwards but let me just unmount it from the wig, uh, uh, the mannequin head, and show you how it looks against the skin. So this is how the look, the wig looks from the inside. You can see. I used the cap that she requested, but only a portion of that. And this is how it looks against my skin. It's a little damp from the inside. I need to just have it uh, dried out. Um, I think it looks good. Sometimes I feel like it's gonna look too thin, but on top of her head, it just looks perfect. So I hope she likes this, because it took me so much time to uh, make this, and it would be a shame if she doesn't like it. I really don't really, I, I have to say that I don't like the mohair, but she can remove it if she wants to. I just left a tiny amount of it in the uh, lower part of the neck just because she initially wanted that so yeah that's how it is let me just part this like so and i also i was dyeing some hair a wig and look at my mannequin head it looks so bad right now and i don't know if i will be able to fix it later just wear it over here see how that looks I have it very low because uh, there is a white thing over here as well yeah there goes my mannequin head I can no longer showcase my wigs like I used to but it's okay so yeah um, thanks for watching ask me anything you want I wish I could take more orders I have tight schedule and personal issues in my life but yeah that's it thanks for watching